Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's hairstyle was inspired by a look that I stumbled on on Instagram and I really wanted to create my own version of this. This is what I would call a freestyle box braids and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys how are you guys doing welcome back welcome back and I know guys I've been kind of missing a little bit but I'm back and I was a little bit sick so I apologize for that anyway so for this hairstyle you're just gonna take little big sections and in those little big sections you're gonna freestyle corn roll each little section to kind of give a very creative and intricate um, braided design look now there's no particular way well I'm not really braiding in a particular way that's why I called it freestyle because all you're doing is just kind of freestyle corn rolling each little sections to have a very cool design look to it. I recommend doing this with uh, your client that has like relaxed hair texture. I haven't really tried with natural hair on this style so I don't know how it would look if, we're, if it would look uh, neat or cleaner but I don't know I just wanted to try this style with someone that had relaxed hair texture because I feel like it might show the beauty of the hair a little bit more and also keep in mind my model has a very small head so by the time I was done it made her head look even more smaller so also look into the style for clients that have you know larger uh, head space to kind of work with I think it'll look way cooler and kind of balance out the size of their head with the hairstyle so that's just a little tip to kind of keep in mind as well and yeah <laughs> So when you're done, you want to make sure that you secure the ends of the braids with an elastic band. Um, you'll find out why in a little bit. It just kind of helps keep the braids intact so that way it doesn't come undone before you go back in to do the individual braids on top of the cornrows. So yeah, just kind of secure it with a nice little elastic band and you're good to go. Another thing is this hairstyle is not for everybody. 
um, if you really like something that's different something that's edgy then I would recommend getting this hairstyle if you're just if you kind of want to be comfortable and you don't want people to notice you or anything like that then you can stick to the regular uh, individual um, box braids but if you know if you want to look edgy you want to look cool you want to look different then I recommend doing this hairstyle it's fun and it's just it's just cool and I don't know I really like it but I wouldn't wear it on my hair because I have a very tiny head so and I think it'll look kind of weird but if you have a nice size head space to work with I think this would be very very cool you can do a lot of cool designs with it but yeah this is what the hair looks like by the time you're done braiding the cornrows and then now we can move on to doing the individual braids using the expression hair to kind of complete the whole look So when you get to the very bottom of the braid, you want to make sure you secure it with a knot. You really don't have to do this because when you dip it in hot water, it's going to further secure it even more. And of course, to clean up the hair, just take a pair of scissors and trim any flyaway hairs that might be sticking out from the braiding hair. And just kind of cut that off and yeah. And of course, I always dip my hair in hot water because it gives the hair a lot of movement and just let it flow with your uh, client's movements whenever they move the hair goes with them. So yeah, don't forget to get help when doing this step as well. And thank you guys so much for watching this video and also please let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this hairstyle. Would you wear it? Would you not? Do you think it's weird? You know, what are your thoughts? You know, let's talk, okay? Anyways, that is it for today's video and once again, have a merry day and God bless. Thank you.